Welcome back to uh, CAD 293 and we are going to do the SOLIDWORKS basic and it says open the attached video to learn and you've already done that. After watching the video open the SOLIDWORKS basic PNG attachment so it's going to be a, an image. I'll open that up. <clears throat> so this is what uh, what I'm wanting you to draw in 3D in SOLIDWORKS in this parametric modeling software. So what I want to do now is uh, get back in here and uh, I want to go into um, my SOLIDWORKS software real quick. So you just go up here into SOLIDWORKS 2018 and it'll start to take just a minute or two for it to open up. And when it does we'll draw that little part up. There we go. <clears throat> now, when you get in here, <clears throat> you've got uh, three things. You've got part, assembly, and drawing. I want to go into part. So just double click that part, and it'll get us into it. All right. So, <clears throat> If you've used Inventor before, it, it looks a little different, and uh, there's some things you got to realize. Now, the first thing I want to do when I get in here is I want to uh, work on my settings, okay? Now, this is going to be in standard inches, and it's also going to be in using ANSI standard. So what you do is you slide up here, and you see this little, looks like a gear options. Hit the drop down beside of it and hit options. And in here, you can come down and change whatever that you want to. But I want to go to Document Properties. And my overall drafting standard is ANSI. you got the different ones here, but ANSI is what I want to use. And you can come in here and you can change your annotations, however you want to do those. There's dimensions. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. But really what I'm looking at is going to be units right here. And when you do this, right here's your unit system, inch, pounds, and seconds. That's what I want to be in. This is just standard, okay? Inch, pound, units. If you want to do uh, uh, the metric system, millimeters, grams, seconds up here, you kind of get the point on that. But anyways, this right here is um, length, what kind of units you want to use. Uh, you can do fractional. Uh, it's in ace right there, or we can do decimals, and I'm just going to use decimals. You can go two places, three places, whatever you want to with it. Uh, fractional, it's going into eighths, um, and that, that would probably be fine. Um, dual dimensions, if you want those. Uh, angles, degrees, how, and I'm actually going to go back up here and put that in. Point one two, that, it'll go to my thousandths place. Uh, the rest of it looks pretty good to me, okay? So I hit OK on that, and I'm set up and ready to go. And now I want to draw, and I'll throw this over there, and I want that little image I just had up just a second ago. I'm trying to find that little image that I had pulled up. I might have to open it again because I don't see it. Right here it is. And I tell you what I might have to do, because it's so small, I might have to right click it and save link as and put it somewhere where I can find it and open it up. Because it would be nice to have two monitors for this. It really would. But see, now I can open it up over here and I'll have my own split screen for it. And uh, I can always take and, and increase it by hitting Control and Plus and bring it up and... Wow, it's kind of blurry. It's okay, though. I'll bring this one up over here, and we can get started with this. Now, let me show you. Um, you know, it, it's just like Inventor if you're used to that. If you've never used either one of them, it's fine, too. But um, you have to have a sketch mode. you got to draw something that's three-dimensional. you got to first have a sketch mode and draw in 2D, and then you add the depth to it, which adds your third dimension, your depth. Um, so what I do is come up here, 
to go to sketch right here sketch and you pick a plane I'm just gonna pick this frontal plane and uh, you now just come up here to line and I'm just gonna take off and uh, I can put this line in here you can you can actually take and was it four and a half or point five see it doesn't do like inventor does as much but you can still do the parametric type of of system on that because that's what this is just draw it in there about the way it looks I'm doing a side profile of this and just like that and all you have to do is come up here hit escape to get out of your command smart dimension and I want to click on this first just like that and my smart dimension there is 4.5 and I messed something up so if you mess something up uh, you can always just undo it so here's edit undo and we're back to that I click on this and now I'm back to it 4.5 boom just like that all right and uh, do another dimension over here catch this side this is one and a half 1.5 enter that in uh, I'm going to catch this little portion here and it is uh, three quarters which is 0 0.75 now you could also write three divided by four because it is parametric modeling software it's real smart um, now what else do we have that's that's pretty much it because it should oh we do I do this side here to get it accurate and it is um, three quarters well three divided by four put that in there boom so now at this point I want to show you something else if you were to now it's a little bit different far as um, viewing this thing if you've ever used inventor uh, if I smash on my wheel it'll pan it around okay a lot of things are the same but that's really the big difference I, I can see right now is just the pan or just being able to rotate it around like this now if you want to go back to your frontal plane you can just come up here and uh, you can click on your face of that and it'll bring it back around again it's right here is all of your visuals right here that you'll need you can pick whichever one that you want and it'll turn it or you've got the box here and you can smash your wheel down and move it around and get yourself back to looking flat okay so boom and what you'll find yourself doing quite a bit is smashing that wheel down wanting to pan this thing from side to side and you'll end up spinning it it'll drive you crazy until you get used to it but turn that around just like that and now just like uh, if you're used to it doing 2D sketch, you got to end the sketch and exit it. So you come up here and exit your sketch, and it throws you uh, after you exit it. You, you're we're still in sketch, but you need to go into feature mode. Okay, so now we're in feature mode, and you'll notice something too that everything we do in here, it's adding into our history. Okay and that's going to be important later on so now I've got this done and this object is two and a quarter back so I hit uh, I'm going to hit extrude okay up here extrude it automatically picks up that enclosed shape and it's uh, blind means it's giving it a distance alright and here's your distance and I'm going to type in 2.25 which is two and a quarter and shot it out that way but you can flip it back and forth however you want okay and then just check mark and it's done so there is that to that point now I just need to do a little cut out right here a cut out up here and then a hole and we've got it so again come up here to sketch click on sketch and I hit sketch and then I hit the face of this and now it's got a sketch on the on the main face of this and I'll turn around and look at it I should be able to draw around the top of this and I'm just gonna put me a little square in here just like this a rectangle 
and uh, I'll just go in here my smart dimension. I'll catch this point to this point. And that one, of course, looks like it's 5 eighths, which is 0 0.625. And then from here to there, and that looks like to me it's 1 and a half. All right. So now I'm done with my sketch mode. Exit my sketch. And then I want to go into feature mode right here. And then I want to... Now, you're, if you're used to Inventor, I keep saying that, but Extrude has both cut and uh, join. Now, in this software, it doesn't. Extrude is just to extend something to make it bigger. There is an extruded cut on here as well. All right, so click on that, Extrude Cut, and it automatically picked that up for us. And I'm just going to put through all and cut boom just like that that's in there and done uh, now I've got just a couple other things left go back to sketch hit sketch come up here I want to click on this I want to turn it to I can see it and I want to put me a, just a rectangle on there just like I did and all you have to do now is just gonna be a smart dimension uh, from here to there and that smart dimension is um, Let's see, two and a quarter minus one and an eighth, so that'd be one and an eighth. It'd be half of it. One point one two five. Exit my sketch, and uh, now just go back into feature mode. We do a extrude cut on that, and I do want to come down a half of an inch. 1 divided by 2, enter, check mark, it's cut. Okay. Now we got one, and if you want to check something, you can on here. Uh, uh, there is evaluate right there, measure. You could actually measure that line. 1.125 is the inch and an eighth. Did you all see that? You just click on that line that you want, and it'll show you. That's a real quick trick. Now the next thing I want to do is put a circle right in the middle of this and cut this out. It's all the way through. It looks like it doesn't say any otherwise. So we're going to put another sketch on it. Sketch on the face of that. We turned around here and look at this. And I want to put that in here. I'm just going to eyeball it. Boom. Put that in in a radius. Let's click like that. Now we can actually just click on it. And it'll come over here in circle, and we can change it here, like in our properties. And um, of course, on the radius, you're looking at uh, seven divided by eight, and then divided by two. All right, because the radius, uh, I, I'm guessing. Let's just do a smart dimension on that. The diameter is 0.875, and that's what I'm, I'd imagine that's what it was. The reason I done divide by 2 because of that command that I had on there. Um, I done 7 divided by 8 divided by 2, and what it did was it uh, done the radius, because that looked like a radius to me. So now we got that in. All I want to do is exit that sketch. Well, I don't want to exit the sketch yet. Okay, but I did. That's fine. It's already exited, and we're out of that. Uh, because it's asking for sketch mode. I want to go back in this and line it up. I didn't line it up. Uh, this is how a real quick trick to do that. Right here is that last sketch we did. If you just right click on it, edit sketch, you can go back to that sketch again. And that's your editing feature. So I'm going to hit smart. Smart dimension. And then I'll click on that, and this is two and a quarter, so 1.125 would be half. And then uh, again, I want to catch, um, looks like from here to that, just clicking on the circle, and 2.25. Um, and then uh, exit the sketch. So that's in there. I want to hit my features. And again, I don't want to extrude, I want to extrude cut click on that and uh, I want to actually just go through all and then hit OK and uh, right there it is.
real quick and real easy. And if I want to add a material to it, I can. Right click, edit the material, and let's say it's, um, it's stainless steel. Chrome stainless steel. Here it is, stainless steel. So I can hit apply. It's got all the properties in there for you. And uh, there's all kinds of diff different other choices. Let's see here. Aluminum. Let's see if it's 1060 aluminum. Apply. Close. And you can see now it's that 1060 alloy. And if you want to go up here and change it to something else, a steel uh, like what we had earlier, which was uh, stainless, just apply and close, and it should change it to stainless. Okay. So again, just take and save it, and you got it. And make sure that you, after you get it saved, that you bring it back here, go into that, and then just browse my computer and attach it in and submit it for me. So this will be due by the end of the day, Sunday at 11.59 p.m. However, if something happens and you don't get your software in in time or... Uh, or you're having trouble downloading the software, just let me know and uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. We'll help you out with it.